everyone this is code metaphor uh, so what we're gonna do today is jump into the topic of object-oriented programming because I was thinking before moving to the uh, using data structures we need to understand object-oriented programming and then uh, we can go back and use some data structures and that's gonna give us more idea of how uh, everything is and what we can do okay so now object oriented programming yeah you will ask okay so we have an object word that is the fundamental thing in the object oriented programming okay so what is an object okay so an object is everything whatever you see here on my desk right now I have a laptop screen I have a I have my phone I have a pen I have um, everything else a mouse and everything okay so these are all objects now so if these are objects and um, then what then these objects have characteristics right my phone is this this color it's this shape and it's this much weight and all these kind of thing and then objects have fun objects have functionalities okay so now this is an object i'm imagining an object right now it it shouldn't be just just it's a pattern like in computer science we just draw it as a node we call it as a node okay so you can you can draw it any any way you like okay so now this is my object having this characteristic I'm just gonna call it one this characteristic calling it two this characteristic calling it three so this is my object right and then um, I have I can have many other objects I can have a student object right I can have a student object right and this student object can have attribute one name class and then subject and then uh, ID ID number let's call it ID number ID number and that's it this is another object that we have now as I told you Imagination plays a very powerful role here. Okay, I it took me a long long time to understand object Okay, just to have a gist of it just to know like okay, what can I do with it? We look into the real world. You have to imagine something bring it to the computer screen. That's the power of coding Okay, that's the power of programming and now we're gonna go uh, uh, to a different topic related to the object which is who makes object right in the real world what do you do who makes a laptop the company pr produces the laptop right or the machine produces something so that machine that company let's suppose the car company Toyota or Ford or any other company they are first sketching something right we have to design something I am a person who will design this object and then I will start producing that object right so that is what's called a class so I can say class student and then the object of that class when I instantiate that object when I when I tell the class student give me an object of a student the name is this and I give them all these attributes but here is another thing which I made a metaphor for myself an object the characteristic are nothing but a combination of variables or pointers so let's suppose I have a variable X I have X1 I have X2 I have X3 these are all my properties of something anything but if I initiate them as a variable I cannot have this box around it to make them all together right I cannot bind them together so I must do this now it's an object right I can assign them values here here and here right so don't be worried about it now we are going to go to a topic 
we're going to start coding about it in the next video and you will see um, what actually means an object okay so we have a topic called linked list okay now we have a linked list so what's the linked list the linked list is a list where for example a is pointing to B right B is pointing to C and C is not pointing to anything is pointing to null and here is the start of linked list let's call it the start but they also call it head so let's better call it the head right now this part this part is the part is the linked list object okay these parts these these nodes are the part these are a separate object this is a node object okay and this is a linked list object we are adding all these things to the linked list object okay now how does a node of a linked list tree look like nothing right you see a linked list object has one variable called data it's going to hold data in a memory for us and another variable called next you can call it anything you like i'm going to call them this next right right now this is our linked list object ready that's it <laughs> data is going to hold data in terms of string integers or any other type of data next is going to hold what next is going to hold the address of another node it's going to point to another node such as a is pointing to b this is just an imaginative picture of it okay nothing is like this in the memory okay now in the memory it can be like this see a we div we made the node a right now this other pointer, the pointer which is the next one, I'm just um, showing it by this one, is empty. B can be here and the next pointer is null right now, right? These are just two nodes happening to be in the memory. And what we can do is we can, we can now, okay, we can now point this to this. Now A is pointing to B. This may be an address 2. This may be an address 3. This node may be an address 3. This node may be an address 2. And now this is pointing to null, right? Now A is this address, the 2, which is the B's address. This line actually means that A is holding the address of B, means A is holding th his own address is there and then there is the address of b okay so now how what else can we understand it's just like this just imagine the data is a and the next value is what is this node is this node the next it's holding this node which is basically this address so it's basically this address is holding two right this is the same thing we can say about it okay now we understood this thing make your own metaphor think about it okay now let's delete all of them come back what happens now a linked list a linked list object has just one variable this is a linked list object this is a linked list object having one variable let's signify it by this right it's just waiting that's it if we initiate instead if we make an object of a linked list class this is what it's going to give me nothing else it's pointing to null okay now we should have functionalities in this linked list right we will have functionality such as add to the um, to the beginning of the list add to the end of the list or add at a specific point I want you to add my node at this specific location right now so 
what will happen i mean i'm going to tell the 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 node so hey add, add at the beginning a node that i just created which is called a and a is waiting like this it has its data and it has a next pointer which is null right now because it's not pointing to anything or let's say it in a different way a has this node has a pointing to data a and this node another pointer is pointing to null right just whatever makes it easy for you just i want you not to confuse this just have an imagination these are just two pointers just because it's objects so they are together okay now if i want to add this to this linked list that we have let's call it a linked list this is our linked list okay this is our linked list so there are two cases one is if head if this if the head which is this value let me also put that this pointer this pointer is if this pointer is null which is at the current situation right i will add right away i will say that head is equal to this node right so what i'm gonna say is um head is equal to this node just you know we don't even have to think in terms of programming like this and my next pointer is null that is the situation right just like in real life nothing is there so i'm just going to add it here now the list starts from a think of h as the start it tells you where is the start of the list okay this one tells you where is the start of the list okay now imagine that you want to add now uh, there is another node b right it has the next pointer is null right now we want to add this here so again you have to check two condition one condition is if it's if the head is uh, empty right none so it's not because it, there is already already a node okay um, then we have to add this here so which means that if we want to add it to the beginning right if we want to add it to the beginning um, let me write it here so this is our head this is our head this is the start of uh, this is already here right this is my and this is pointing to null right now I have another node B I want to add it in the beginning in the beginning what does it mean it should be right I had it should point to this one so what am I gonna do right now what I have to do is remember if we lost any kind of reference that means that object is lost you might be thinking I might just say H I might connect H to B no then then the B then the A is lost if I do H uh, a point H to uh, to B the A is lost I cannot do that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna point this to a right and then I'm gonna point H to here right right so then now we have this is lost this is gone now I have H B and A so now you can imagine that this is like this H B and A and A is now pointing to null right then here is the idea we say that uh, um, here the the head is pointing to this so I I will say that this node points to uh, the head okay so if this is pointing to a this h is pointing to a this h is pointing to a if i say this is also equals to head that's exactly mean that i'm saying this is pointing to a so even if i lost this one this connection i still will have this connection right 
so this is in the beginning now let's see how can we do how can we add uh, in the back okay now I have this is the start I'm gonna always uh, color it this is the start of the node now this is our a right this is our B right now B is null right now I want to add to the end of the list but we don't know the end of the list what is the end of the list so something must start that can tell us and here is a concept that imagination and all the our creativities come into it what if I check so how can I know that something is I have to add it there when a node next is none that is the point where I know that this nodes next variable should point to new node now the new node is C let's suppose the new node is C its next variable is null, right and um, now what I can do is I have to start here there should be something that should check this this will check right this this pointer this pointer this pointer should check that its next is uh, null or not okay so this its next is not null so boom it goes here this point we will move this pointer now when its next is null I know that the our while loop we will use a while condition here that will fail and I will say the bees dot next because this nodes this whatever the name of this node is let's suppose you say student one dot next should be equal to C so then this is what will happen this will come and point to C now we didn't lose anything now we have a list a b c and c is pointing to now okay so this is the idea of uh, of a linked list uh, we have more functions within the linked list we have added an index that's uh, wh while I'm coding I think you got the idea I don't even have to explain that you got the idea of how everything works um, then I can explain better than we have we will uh, also code a function called find a node we'll give it a value and say hey where uh, do you think find me if b exists in this linked list but linked list one thing is that it's uh, it takes a lot a longer time to iterate uh, which means that because if i want to find c i must start from a there is no reason i don't know where is c so i must go to a then to b a compare it to what I want B compare and C finally I get the value okay so iteration is linear in here okay uh, so guys uh, that's it uh, with the uh, idea of a class of uh, what is an object just think very simply about it what is an object you want to design an object okay I'm going to remove that if you want to design an object don't think about anything say what characteristics do I need in my what's the name of my object so I say well the name of my object is a car right I say the name of my object is a car right that is your class okay I want a car object okay and then my car has these attributes x1 x2 x3 and these axes can be anything you like okay x4 these are the attributes that I have these are the arrows okay now this is the sketch of your car okay now this is your object and whenever you instantiate it you have it so this we say class car and the constructor uh, in a car class um, Python has or any other programming language has a method called a constructor method that constructor method basically gives you or put this box metaphorically around your variables to have it accessible to you okay we are gonna see it in next video when we code our first object-oriented problem of uh, coding 
they blessed okay so thank you so much i will see you in the next video bye bye